As roses start fading in the fall, many varieties will start developing rose hips, which are the beautiful orange and red fruits at the end of the stems. Well, you can eat these fruits, not like a cherry, but keep watching for a fun fall recipe. I'm Ryan from Easy Elegance Roses and First Editions Shrubs and Trees, and welcome back to another foodie edition of Garden Gab. Lottie's Love and Oscar Peterson develop absolutely beautiful rose hips in fall. They're ornamental, so you can leave them on your shrub to add some fall color to the garden, or you can use those vitamin C rich hips for jelly, jam, tea, cookies, or even a rose hip liqueur. Today we're going to make a Lottie's Love rose hip jelly. It's a really lovely tangy preserve that's great on cheese and crackers and yogurt as a marinade with ice cream or on a salad even. Now first, be sure the roses you're harvesting haven't been treated with any chemicals to keep you, your family, and friends safe. The bonus of Easy Elegance and First Editions roses is that they stay healthy and beautiful without any chemicals. Now, you have to harvest the rose hips once they're in color, right around or just after your first frost to really maximize the flavor. You don't want to go too late in the season though, or they're not going to be any good. For this recipe, you'll need about two quarts of rose hips. All you need is the rose hip itself, so don't cut any stems or leaves, and once they're collected, rinse them off and then add to a stainless steel or non-reactive pot with six cups of water. You'll want to avoid aluminum or cast iron pans for this process. Bring it to a boil, then reduce the heat to simmer, and cover the pot and cook until those rose hips are soft enough to be mashed. Once they're ready, mash them up to a fine pulp. There are seeds inside, but don't worry about getting rid of them right now because we're going to strain everything next. Once it's looking soupy, strain that mixture into another big pot through a jelly bag, fine strainer, or a few layers of cheesecloth. Once you've got about three cups of juice, add a half a cup of fresh squeezed lemon juice and one pack of pectin. Now you're going to bring that to a boil so all of that pectin dissolves, and then add three and a half cups of sugar. Once that is dissolved, add a quarter teaspoon of butter, bring it to a hard boil for one minute, then pull it off of the heat and pour it into sterilized canning jars. If you plan to dig in soon, you can keep the jelly in your fridge, and if you want to store it or maybe give it as a gift later on, process the jars using boiling water for shelf life up to two years. I hope that you enjoyed this fun take on enjoying roses in the fall. If you try this at home, be sure to share photos of your rose hip jelly, and don't forget to like and share this video, and of course, subscribe for lots more content coming your way soon. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time on Garden Gab.